I recently decided that I needed a better charger. But there's some people who need more powerful chargers that like to charge batteries at 3 or 4C and they have like 5,000 5, mAh batteries. Um, I didn't need that. I charge everything at 1C, including my 6S 5000. So I was looking for charging more things at once. So I went for the high-tech multi-charger X4AC+. Plus. Now the nice thing about it is it's pretty portable. This is my old Tenergy TB6B. Uh, had it two years, nothing wrong with it. It actually worked very well. I just, uh, I had a power supply off the side of it and whenever I traveled I had to take it and the power supply and now with the new high tech I don't have to do that because it plugs right into the wall. Now it does have the clips to hook up to a 12 volt battery, like a car battery, and um, it doesn't come with these. I bought these, I love these all in one. I don't have to change my plugs too much, the only time really I have to change a plug out is when I go in for some of the... Uh, stuff that requires this special plug. Uh, if you have a Blade 130X or even the, um, what is it, the T-Rex 150 DFC, they have special batteries where the the actual power and bind plug are both in the same spot and you need a special cable. But these banana clips are standard, so you can plug anything you want into them. Now let's say I wanted to charge this 2200 mAh battery. Um, when you're at the top level, these are your left and right buttons, the battery type and the decrease. So I'm going to go to LiPo. Once I hit start, I'm in the second level. Then these buttons become your left and right button. That confuses a lot of people. And it got me two years ago, but I figured it out and I'm just used to it now. So I don't want to charge. I went to balance. And apparently I already charged one of these batteries on here. But it's pretty easy. Hit start. If you have a 2200 mAh battery, you put in 2.2 .2 amps. If you have a 3,200 milliamp battery, you do 3.2 amps. Um, that's my general rule. And then, of course, you set how many S your battery is for. So out of the box, real simple to get up and running. Now, it also does uh, lead batteries, nickel cadmium batteries. I don't use any of that. I do use NIMH. And one thing I do like about this charger, and it's the same function, this is almost exactly the same as my One Tenergy, only it's for them in one box. Um, only real differences are this can charge at 6 amp and that can only charge at 5 amp. And I really haven't found much of a difference except, you know, it looks nicer and more portable. So we have discharge, cycle, cycle. I use this once or twice a year on my NIMH, which are pretty much my son's cars, because um, I put lipos in his cars and they're way too fast. And I usually do discharge, charge, you can pick how many cycles. And if you're going to do this, you might want to go into the safety feature. I'll show you in a little while the timeout feature and turn that off. Um, but, and that cycles goes by what you have the charge set for. So you go into charge first and let's say you want to charge at 4 amp and now you go charge discharge and when you hold this in battery check up oh, there's no battery there. So it does know if there's no battery there if you go to balance a lipo and you don't have the balance port hooked up it'll tell you that. Um, and if you accidentally reverse polarity, which you're like, why would that happen? Let me see. Where is it? One of these cables I bought. Right on the square, right on the square. Where is it? Here it is. This one got me when I first bought this. I bought three of these cables and that one was connected reverse. Um, luckily, my charger saved the day and said, hey, uh, reverse polarity, don't do that. And I was like, oops, sorry. So now, that's why that cable's pretty much sitting over there. Um, now, how do you hook up? Well, it comes with this balance board for XH, which is, I run blade stuff, so this is my primary one. It also comes with balance ports for if you're on an HPPQ 
and if you're running TF, TPFP. Now, that's Thunder Power, and I actually have something that runs that, but I don't use the board. I still just use the adapter I bought a couple months ago. But, and this is the board for my Tenergy. I just borrowed it. Now, they are convenient. Boards are convenient because you, they're right there. You plug in, and you go. Now, I only have two balance boards, so what do I do if I want to balance four? I found this out about these chargers. I usually... So I come over to this side where I don't have a balance board. I take the two plugs out just to make it easier to uh, see where you normally plug your balance board in. As you can see, there's a negative and it goes one through six. So you keep your black on the right for negative. You make sure that that one is all the way over on the right side. And there's a lot of room here. You just gently plug it in. So, you don't really need to buy more balance boards. You can just use the sides. And I've been doing that. And thank you to the people who told me about that. Because it comes in very handy and saved me a little money. Now, here's the ports without the cables in it. I took the cables off briefly. And as you can see, you have your AC input. And you have your... I have one in three of my uh, chargers. This is my DC input. This is where I would hook up the cables to hook up a 12 volt car battery and of course your balance boards go there and your pc links if you want to connect the usb port to a computer to monitor and record how your battery charges a lot of people do that uh, i'm not quite at that point yet but i'm starting to get there and you can also hook up a temperature sensor that you stick or uh, put somewhere near your battery and if your battery gets too hot it will stop charging it which is a, a good safety feature that I have not taken advantage of yet. Back to programming. Uh, let's go into the programming menu. Now you have your LiPo voltage type, uh, average 3.7. And I leave that as is. Uh, my check time for any of the lithium batteries, 10 minutes, I leave that as is. NIMH sensitivity, uh, delta peak default, I leave that as is. Same thing with the NICADs. Waste time is between the charging and discharging. Uh, I haven't done it on this particular unit yet. All four of these are separate. Um, this one doesn't know what this one remembers, and these all have different saves and loads. So just think of it as four separate chargers in one box. I usually like to put five to ten minutes if I'm doing my charge-discharge on my uh, NIMH batteries. Uh, safety timer. Now, if you're doing like five charge-discharges, you either want to come in here and crank the minutes way up, or you just want to turn it off. Um, since I mostly do LiPo, I leave it on, and if I get interrupted in the middle of a charge discharge, uh, so be it. I just do it again. Because um, I'd rather be safe than... I think this one's set for 300 minutes for uh, when I do my nickel metal... Um, but I just, I basically go through all these settings. Capacity cutoff... Um, I don't even touch that. I haven't had anything overcharge ever because I balance everything uh, except for the nickel metal. I do those normal charge. Um, key beep can get pretty annoying. Um, so I tend to leave that off. But I leave the buzzer on and it beeps when I start a charge and it beeps when the charge is done. So that lets you know all that stuff. Uh, input power low cutoff, 10 volts. Um, if you're using a battery, a car battery hooked up to this, when it hits 10 volts, it knows to shut off um, and not kill your car battery. And we're back to LiPo type now. And then there's these load and save data. Now you get five slots per unit. And like I said, remember they're separate units. So if I hit start, you have five slots. You pick one, you pick what type of battery, of course the voltage. I'm going to say this is my 4000 mAh battery. Whoop. All right. This first screen, display only. I just set nothing except something to remind me what that battery is. Now, I go in, and for charge, it's my 4000. So I set it for 4 amps. 
go back up. You can also set the balance. 4,000, and let's say that is a, let's keep it at 3S. Uh, fast charge, I never use fast charge, but if I did, I'd say, well, let's say 4.5, it's my 3S. And then storage, um, let's just program that because in case I ever use it. And then discharge, I just leave that alone. Um, I'll go into those in a second, what the, the difference between storage and discharge. Okay, when that starts blinking, it means you're saving all this stuff. You can go through all your menus, and when you hold the start button in, save. So now, when I go to load data, Let's see, I'll load number two, and all my stuff is at default, which is how everything came when I first took this out of the box. Go back, Oop, load data, and I take my 4,000, hold the start button in, dumps me on at the light bulb charge screen, and now all my possibilities of what to do with this battery are right in front of me. Um, I don't use the load save that much. I just, every time I go in, I check what I need to do. So let's go over what the different LiPo modes are. Of course, charge, regular charge, doesn't use a balance board. You just plug it in and go. Uh, balance, I use almost all the time. Uh, it uses the balance boards I showed you before and it keeps all your cells nice and even and your battery in good health. Uh, fast charge, if you really wanna charge something a little bit faster, if you're in a little bit of a hurry, um, you have the option to do that. I don't use that personally. Storage, um, you just went to the field and you didn't use three of your batteries. Well, you can come back here and put it on and have it discharge your batteries down to a safe level to put them away for a few weeks if you're not gonna use them right away. Now, in storage mode, I have used it, and that's when you mostly hear the fan up here, uh, when it's discharging batteries. A lot of heat comes out of the unit at that point. And then, of course, discharge. Your battery's dead. You're, you're about to throw it out. Discharge it. Just That brings it way down past a safe level. It will kill your battery, uh, but make it safe to One throw it. balance out. port. It does not come with any of these... Uh, all-in-one octopus these were separate it did come with some single charging cables that are probably standard charging cables but they're not ones i would use so you might want to look online and see exactly what it comes with before you buy one to see if it has a cable you'll use me i didn't care i knew i was getting these anyhow so there it is the high-tech multi-charger x4 ac plus looks nice very portable uh, I'm going to be bringing this to the field a lot, unlike my old one, where I hated bringing it because the, the just dragging the power supply and the charge around and only charge one battery at a time. But with this, four batteries at a time, I don't mind waiting an hour as long as at the end of the hour I have four batteries ready to go. And with the way the weather's been recently, uh, that's a good thing because you never know when there's going to be a good day. And of course, as always, when you charge a battery, especially the bigger ones, uh, I have a couple of these bags, and um, you just take the battery, you put it in the bag, it has a little lip here, you stick the cables through, and hopefully that will help. Now, some of my batteries are getting pretty big, and I have a couple friends who have already taken little uh, lock boxes and fireproof safes and drilled holes through them and extended wires out. That's my next step. And... Um, this is just up here in my dining room right now because uh, I had it, I brought it to someone's house and when I came home it never made it back down to the bench, which is what my wife hates. So I can definitely recommend the Hi-Tech Multi-Charger X4 AC Plus. It's very portable, um, easy to grab and go with. A um, little disappointed it didn't come with more cables that I could use, but 
<coughs> cables. Who cares about the cables as long as you have a good charger? So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if I get a chance, I'll answer you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys.